So I'm going to go through quickly in this video the last 25 years of the Windows family. So I'm going to start with Windows 3.1.1 and you'll notice Windows 3.1.1 had uh, the first Windows concept where there's a bunch of items in a window and you could drag around it. Now if you look at File Manager, File Manager was the first version of sort of like a My Computer uh, in succeeding Windows versions. But uh, more no noticeably you'll notice uh, in the games there is actually Solitaire, uh, what we're a lot of us are familiar with and also Minesweeper. So that was uh, Windows 3.1.1 and five years later in 1995 came out Windows 95 which is really the blueprint for a lot of the success succeeding uh, Windows versions, Windows operating systems. So you'll notice there's a start menu introduced here in Windows 95. Mm. So this was really the first version of the modern era of Windows three years later came out Windows 98 so Windows 98 there's not too much that's different from Windows 98 other than um, the browser was integrated more into Windows 98 so in Windows Millennium what was introduced was a more multimedia aspect of the Windows operating system so this was in uh, the year 2000 and you'll notice there's this media player which was uh, can be considered the first a graphical version of the Windows Media Player. So that is the first version uh, or the Windows ME and this one is Windows XP. So Windows XP came out in 2001 and what was different about it was the graphics again which was a little bit more enhanced at for its time which uh, had a lot of gradients and a, a sort of different look and feel to the start menu here. So that's Windows XP now the next version was actually Windows Vista and Windows Vista was a little bit of a bomb because the the hardware at that time was actually not as advanced as the software so the operating system itself was actually very cumbersome and slow and was very unpopular because of that and but one thing it did introduce was these gadgets here so that's Windows Vista and you'll notice the button or the Windows button turned into a picture with the start menu so that was when it was introduced and Windows 7 was the next iteration so Windows 7 is still popular today and you'll notice it does retain the Windows start button here and also the gadgets but it was actually a lot lighter and faster than Windows Vista so that's Windows 7 the next iteration was actually a more unified uh, Windows which try to combine the phone operating system, the tablet operating system, and also the Windows operating system uh, into one kind of cohesive look with the tiles. So what ended up happening was there was actually no start menu. You, you had to hover in the corner here to actually get to anything. Um, and uh, here's the tiles, which it was trying to unify with the phone phone look and feel and tablet look and feel and the access to the apps was actually many button clicks away so that was uh, Windows 8 and Windows 8 1 1 actually uh, introduced at least a button that allows you to have a shortcut to the tiles and to the start items so that was Windows 8 and Windows 811 and this is Windows 10 which brought back the start menu so if you bring back the start menu here you'll notice it combines it with the tiles and what it did introduce was also uh, concepts of virtual desktops so you can, you can have multiple desktops to rearrange your open applications so that's really the entire family in the last 25 years and uh, thank you for watching